these memories of time, to the era of mermaids and mystery, piracy and thunder, spirits and sirens. This was a time when pirate captain Francois de la Pen ruled the seas along the Florida coastline. The captain was an adept swordsman, a cunning criminal, and a flirtatious philanderer. But no woman had captured his heart. His mistress was the sea, and he believed that his devotion would never falter. She provided him with wealth and adventure, sustenance and safe harbor. The mistress of the ocean returned the captain's devotion. She treated him with a level of kindness and compassion she often held back from other sailors. She cared for him so much that she wanted to bestow upon him a gift to show her affection. The mistress of the ocean searched the seven seas to find the most beautiful pearl in the world. When she was certain that she had found the perfect gift, she used the ebb and flow of her tides to place the pearl on the beach so that her beloved captain would find it on his nightly walk along the shore. He was overwhelmed by the pearl's beauty and intrigued by its potential value. Afraid that there might be criminals lurking in the shadows, he quickly hid his newfound treasure in his inside pocket, the one next to his heart. This made the ocean swell with joy. Now, since fate has always been as unpredictable as the weather, on this very same night, the lovely Sarah Sileen was also walking on the beach, enjoying the stars. She lived in a nearby village and had just become eligible to marry. Although this was the furthest thing from her mind, she was looking for adventure and excitement. Just as the moon hit its brightest moment, Sarah and the captain made eye contact. She immediately recognized him as a pirate, and her imagination began to run wild with the possibilities of adventure. Captain de la Pen was struck silent by her beauty. They were immediately drawn to each other and walked hand in hand along the beach until the following morning. As the sun rose, the captain prepared to set sail, but Sarah was not pleased that she would be left behind in the village. Please don't leave me behind. Take me with you so that I too can share in your adventures. As much as it pains me to leave you behind, the open ocean is far too dangerous for a lovely maiden. I promise that whenever I leave port, I will ring the ship's bell three times. and ring it three times again when I return. You will hear this from the village and know that I am holding your love deep in my heart. I promise that the sound of three bells shall always soften my heart, as it will remind me of you. But how do I know you will return for me? This is my only valuable possession. It is the most beautiful pearl in the seven seas. And I will leave it with you to ensure my return. As Sarah reveled in the beauty of the pearl and Captain Francois de la Pen set sail, the mistress of the ocean felt her heart crash to pieces against the rocks. Wave upon wave of anger and betrayal broke in endless succession. She had lost her beloved captain. Her precious gift to him had been passed on to a plain girl from the village. She vowed she would get revenge. Using the mysteries of the ancient sirens, the ocean called Sarah to the beach. Originally, she had planned to drown her in the deepest waters, but then, 
she had a miraculous idea. She would transform the girl into a hideous siren of the sea who would protect this pearl and all of the treasures the ocean has to offer for the rest of time. As Sarah reached the shore, her legs grew weak and she fell to her knees. When she tried to stand, she saw that dark scales were beginning to cover her legs and arms. She tried to scream, but her voice had been replaced with a hideous, shrill bellow. She fell to the ground and began to roll towards the water's edge. The moment she touched the brine, she transformed into a wicked creature, half fish, half human. She was now the eternal servant of the ocean, whose sole purpose was to guard the treasures of the deep. When the captain returned several weeks later, he rang the bell three times as promised. He expected his beloved to come running to his arms, but she did not. He rang again. But to no avail. Brokenhearted, the captain went back to his ship, never to return to this port again. He never knew that Sarah heard the bell, and as promised, her heart softened for a moment, and she shed a single tear, which was quickly lost in the salty sea.